F body designs have been a staple of Pontiac and Chevrolet since 1967. Originally intended to compete against the Ford Mustang as an affordable sports car for young buyers, the F body platforms were introduced during the muscle car boom and they continued for 35 years as monikers for exciting style and raw energy. But sales began slipping during the mid-90s as sticker prices spiraled out of reach of the intended market. The F-Body had become an expensive automobile, obtainable by a predominantly older demographic. Rather than cut costs to regain the intended market, General Motors decided to re-envision a car more appealing to mature buyers. In 2003, the F-Body was gone, and no low-end performance car was offered by General Motors. But the buzz was already on about a different kind of sports coupe for 2004. General Motors was about to embark on the retro wave with the return of the Pontiac GTO. GM's Holden division of Australia produces a successful sports coupe called the Monaro. The controversial decision was made to import this vehicle and rebadge it as an American legend. We went to Miskinis Motors in Bridgewater to have a go at the all-new GTO. The all-new GTO is almost identical to the Australian Monaro, with revisions for U.S. federal standards. The frame is unitized construction, with one and two-sided body panels. The 5.7-liter LS1 engine delivers 350 horsepower. This is an improvement over the Monaro, thanks to a higher cam duration, as well as intake and exhaust upgrades. The 346 limited slip drive the rear wheels, maintaining a tradition held sacred to American performance enthusiasts. Safety can be maximized by using the standard electronic traction control system. A one inch stabilizer bar, tower brace struts and progressive rate springs hold up the front end, combined with independent suspension, semi-trailing arms, control links, gas charge shocks and half inch stabilizer handling the rear. Stopping power is provided by 11 and a half inch anti-lock discs. 17 inch rims and G-Force 245s meet the road. Pontiac is proud of the GTO's exhaust system in that it maximizes flow and produces a tone just under acceptable noise standards. For a stock vehicle, the tone is pure and powerful. Wow, it shifts like I know it's powerful. The standard 4L60E transmission has been reprogrammed for the LS1 engine, and power is transferred by a high stall converter. The manual Tremec 6-speed is the only available option for the GTO. The automatic uses a launch mode in first gear. This preloads the rear end. The GTO can go 0 to 60 in close to 5 seconds. This is a cool little drive. I'll tell you what, a real world experience on the road for this car is awesome. The interior is outstanding in function and design. Comfort and sport are seamlessly blended. Nothing overly ornamental and an all-business attitude describe this car accurately from the inside out. The exterior design is quiet, almost unassuming. Only the GTO badge and the growl of the tailpipes give her away as a solid performance coupe. Now all this may sound great as a concept, but the fact is that GTO sales are not making General Motors proud. The car is steeped in controversy. While no one is denying this automobile in and of itself, industry reviewers as well as the public are disappointed in the reincarnation of a car once known as the Great One. 